Creating a new test suite for testing Windows desktop applications. Specify the name. Choose the type of testing. Enter the Windows address with Remote Desktop enabled and the application installed. We use a virtual machine on Azure for this demo. Windows login username, user password. Click the Create Test Suite button. Waiting for creation, let's create a simple test case. Press the button Add Custom Test Case. Enter a description. It will be in the UI. Just wait for three seconds. Now click Add and Run. The test case has been created and will run after the server is allocated and the connection to Windows is checked. And before that is the displayed in the in queue status. The status has changed to in progress. We can take a look at what is happening there. Let's open the test case. We see that it has already been completed successfully. Let's look at the screenshot. We can see the desktop of our Windows and the icon of the CRM test application. Let's add an application launch and a simple assertion to the test case. We are opening a test case for editing. We no longer need the wait, so let's turn it off or comment it out. To launch, double-click on the application icon with the exact name of a CRM and add a verification that the screen after launching the application has the caption dashboard. Now, let's close the application using the keyboard shortcut Alt-F4. Let's press Save and Retest. The executing test case and all its earlier runs are displayed below the editor. Let's see the details. On the screenshot, the caption of the CRM icon is highlighted. The application was started. We see the green highlight of the found caption, dashboard, and in the following screenshot, we see that the application was closed successfully. Let's add a text input to the test case. Let's do it after the app launches. Let's open the user section. Click Create. Enter John in the field to the left of the caption username. And click OK, after which the application will close with Alt F4. Save and retest. The screenshot shows the Users button, which we clicked. The application has moved to the User section, and you can see the backlight of the Create button, after which the User Creation window appeared. Clicking on the next screenshot will not work, so I had to close. The test case has already finished running successfully. Let's get back to screenshots. The caption, Username, and the input field we need are highlighted after entering John, and the pressed OK button is also highlighted. The next screen shows that the new user has been successfully added to the table and the application closed after pressing Alt F4. Thank you for watching this video.